tutorial we're going to add another object. This time we're going to put a cannon that fires a missile. And if it if the missile hits another object, such as a kodu, it's going to do a bit of damage to that object. So if I, first of all I'm just going to use the hand tool. I'm going to move to where I'd like my cannon to go. And I think I'm going to put it in in the middle over here somewhere. And I'm going to click the object tool. And then I'm going to go down to my objects and I'm going to choose a cannon. And there he is. This though he looks. And if, if I've zoomed in here, if I click on the object tool again, I can right mouse click. Um, I can rotate him a little bit so he's facing the, the direction that I want. And let's just have a look and see how he looks. I think I'd like him firing this direction. You can see the, the main bit where the ball's going to, or the missile's going to come from in a moment or two. And um, I can even change colour, just like Kodu, selecting the appropriate colour that we want for him. Let's go for, for yellow for him. Now at the moment, if I start my game, he's not actually going to do anything. He's not going to fire any missiles or anything like that, because here's me just starting the game now, because we haven't actually asked him to do anything. So let's just zip over and have a look at the cannon in the game. Here he is, just sitting there, not doing much at all. So I'm just going to press escape and come back to program him. I'm going to choose the object, I'm going to right mouse click, and I'm going to choose to program. And what I want him to do, randomly, um, is to to launch a missile. So first of all, when the timer, I'm going to put uh, five seconds. That means, in fact, let's change that to two seconds. Can we really mean? Um, what he's going to do is shoot, and we'll make we'll click on the plus here to choose a missile. And this is hopefully, if we try this one out now, let's just press play on our game and just zip over with Kodu and look. He's hopefully every two seconds going to be firing a missile. There he goes. Firing away. And if I get hit by a missile, oh, blows me up straight away. That's a bit mean. I don't get a lot of chance really to, um, to do much else. Now I will at this point just show you um, how we can change the settings so that we can see the health bar above Kodu. And to do that what we do is make sure on the object tool, right mouse click, change settings, and we need to make sure we go down and turn on showing the hit points. And you can see the bar above so we can see how much damage we've done. Now let's just zoom over again to our cannon and let's put some more instructions, some more rules I should say on him for things that he's going to do. Um, to make it random by the way, then what we can do is an addition here and we can put on here um, a random and let's put on a random up to five seconds meaning that um, it, it, after two seconds plus a random time um, somewhere up to five seconds he's going to shoot his missile so it's not going to be quite as regular now to get it so that it doesn't actually blow me up straight away I'm going to click on when and this time I'm going to go to more and I'm going to choose when shot hit and this basically just allows us to specify that when um, a shot has hit and you could even be more specific when a shot has hit Kodu, even though there's only one Kodu so there's not, not much else it could hit then we are going to do, we're going to go to combat now and we're going to limit the damage so rather than destroying him we're going to put the damages let's go for 10 points by default Kodu has up to 50 points of, of, of damage that can be sustained. So let's try and see what happens now with our game. Let's press escape again. Here's our Kodu with his health bar. Let's go over and visit our missile launcher. Here he goes, he's fired. And can you see my health has only just gone down a small amount. And the other nice thing that I can do now is I've got my one cannon working okay. I can copy him and paste him. So I've got another one. And let's put another one just over here. The face cannon. And I might want to just rotate this one a little bit so that he's facing into the middle. This is um, all about playtesting now, seeing how challenging the game is. Um, I've got three random missiles potentially here being fired. So it could be quite tricky to navigate that, that middle bit. We don't want to make it too hard. But on the other hand, we don't want it too easy. 